Say hello to my furry little friend. No? <laughs> hey everybody, John Deere here from John Deere's Embroidery Legacy and today I'm going to show you how to hoop one of the most difficult items that I've come across but to be honest it's one of my favorite things to do. It's one of the embroidery buddies and they are so cute and they come in a huge array of different characters. So these are awesome because they were made specifically for embroiderers. And if you've never seen one before, it's really cool because they actually unzip and you can take out the stuffing and then you have an area that you can actually put your hoop in and you can hoop this and then run it on your embroidery machine. Now the problem is if you've ever tried to hoop one of these on a flat surface and get your stabilizer inside, it can be a real feat. It's, it's actually, get, it gets frustrating, it's hard to do, and after the first time you might get the hang of it, but you dread every time you have to do it. So we're going to show you how, even though puppy dogs are man's best friends, we're going to show you how the echidna hooping stations are an embroiderer's best friend. Now I've taken all the stuffing out of my embroidery buddy, I've taken the body out, I've taken the stuffing and the head out, and now I can see because this is a tubular item, it would be very difficult to try to hoop on a flat surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom part of my hoop and I'm going to place it close to the top of the echidna hooping station, and once I have it centered, I'm going to take my magnets and I'm going to put four magnets in at the bottom. This is a non-slip surface, so it's going to actually hold it in place place nice and tight. Now that my hoop is securely in place, I can take my piece of stabilizer and I'm just going to hold the stabilizer in place with a couple of magnets. Now this is the beauty of the hooping station is usually your, your stabilizer is sliding all around and you go to look after you've hooped and it's out of place. This is going to keep everything nice and secured. So now I'm going to slide my embroidery buddy right over top and I'm going to make sure that I have him centered onto the station. I'm going to separate his legs a little bit so that I get all of the wrinkles out of his body. And then I'm going to take my hoop and I'm going to push it up and down towards the top. And once I push it in place, I can see that everything is nice and secured. I just lift and release it. My stabilizer is perfect on the back side and I can see that I have a perfect flat hooping on the body where I want to embroider the design. So you can see how hooping even the most difficult items is easy with your echidna hooping station. And that wasn't hard at all, was it? I just couldn't resist. Anyways, head on over to Digitizing Made Easy and order your echidna hooping station today.